Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about simultaneous equation models, right? So this is the first video for simultaneous equation models. So, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to start off with a very simple example. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we are actually going to set up a very simple model, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a very simple model. Now, let's say for example if you have uh, if you have a demand equation right so let's say you have a demand equation which basically says that that the quantity demanded uh, so the quantity demanded uh, at a given price t is actually going to be equal to uh, beta it's going to be a function of this price right so it's going to be beta price plus an error term right so all other factors which determine demand are actually focused on this uh, error term apart from the price and then you're going to have supply equation as well right so you have your supply equation which says that quantity supplied uh, for a given uh, given time period t is also a function of its price right so let's say that is equal to gamma uh, price at a given time period t plus the error term and uh, that error term will contain all the factors which affect supply besides the price. Now, this these are basically our our equations, right? So these are, are these equations are called structural equations. So what is these? What are these equations called? These equations are called structural structural equations, and they call structural equations because they are derived from theory, right? So they are actually derived. Uh, from economic theory and uh, they basically uh, describe a particular aspect of the economy so so in this you have different variables right so you have uh, price is actually a variable and the quantity is actually a variable so you have various variables now what you can do is we can actually show the equation price the equation for price and equation for quantity uh, under equilibrium conditions so so what is our equilibrium condition so our equilibrium condition is of the sort that the quantity demanded is actually equal to the quantity supplied right so basically under equilibrium these these quantities are going to be equal and just for the sake of simplicity what i'm going to do is just for the sake of simplicity i'm going to assume uh so i'm going to assume the following just for the sake of simplicity because i want to have a simple model set up and then we're going to make this model more and more complex so first assumption that i'm going to have is is these the, these error terms uh, the expected value of these error terms is zero right so so the error so the error term for demand equation and the error term of supply equation right so they both uh, go to they both follow a distribution with mean zero and uh, they have their respective variances so this is the variance for the demand error term and this is the variance for the supply error term right another assumption that we're going to make is is that the the error terms are independent of each other so the error term of the demand equation and the error term of the supply equation they are independent of each other right so so they are they are independent of each other so basically if i want to uh, kind of uh, kind of analyze what these assumptions mean so this these assumptions basically mean that the expected value of the uh, of the of the demand equation uh, the error term of the demand equation is zero and the expected value of the uh, the error term of the supply equation is zero right so that is there and here since they're independent that means they are uh, that means uh, their uh, joint expectation so that means the expected value of the error term for the demand equation uh, given time period t and the expected value of the supply so the error term of the supply equation given error term t so that is actually equal to zero as well Right, so we can actually prove this using, uh, you know, we can actually prove this using law of iterated expectations because if this is zero, so this and this is zero, so this actually gonna come out to be zero. 
right? So this is a simple uh, thing that we've assumed. So now these are called your structural equations, right? So these, this is your equation form. So now what we can do is we can actually uh, sh find out these, what are these variables in terms of, uh, so this, these variables in terms of these error terms, right? Or in terms of other exogenous variables. Where we, right now we don't have any exogenous variables because this is a very simple model. So, so, uh, so what I'm, what we're going to do is we're actually going to find the reduced form of these equations. So if I go ahead and uh, try to form the reduced form of these equations, so what I can do is, uh, since and under equilibrium, the the both. Uh, both the both the quantities are same. So what I can do is I can equate both of the equations. So what I can say is I can say this is equal to this under equilibrium. So what I can say is that I can say that under equilibrium, uh, I can say that the 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 demand equation that is beta price t plus the error term of the demand uh, equation is actually equal to the supply equation so i'm just i'm just noting down the demand equation and the supply equation now if i solve this up and i want to make the price as the the subject so i can clearly say that beta times price t minus gamma times price t uh, that is actually equal to the supply error term minus the demand error term right and so what i can do now is i can take the price term out i have beta minus gamma that is equal to the the supply error term minus the demand error term right so this is what i have and then i can just say that the price uh, is actually equal to 1 over uh 1 over beta minus gamma into the supply term minus 1 over beta minus gamma into the demand term. So this is basically my uh, price equation, right? So this is basically my price equation. So now what I need to do is I need to find what is my uh, demand equation, right? So, so sorry, uh, so this is the price, price equation. Uh, I need to find what is my quantity equation, I'm sorry. So, so let's go ahead and find out what exactly is my quantity equation. So something that I already know is that, I, I already know that quantity is actually equal to beta price uh, plus the error term from the demand equation. So this is basically, I'm just noting down the demand equation here. And what I can do is I can substitute the value of price here. So what I can say is I can say quantity demanded or quantity supplied in equilibrium, both of them are same, is equal to beta times this whole thing, which is one over beta minus gamma error term supply uh, minus one over beta minus gamma error term demand plus error term demand right so this is what i have then all i need to do is i just need to solve this equation so this is beta over beta minus gamma error term supply minus beta over beta minus gamma error term demand plus error term demand so so this basically is going to come out to be uh, beta over beta minus gamma error term supply uh, minus beta times error times demand plus so i'm just i'm just solving this now i'm i'm not doing anything uh, really interesting here i'm just i'm just solving this equation so basically i'm taking this to that side so this actually gives me the quantity uh, the quantity is equal to uh, beta over uh, beta minus gamma that is error term supply and this is equal to minus uh, so let's just keep the minus outside so this is be, uh, beta into error term demand uh, plus beta into uh, so what do i have here it's beta into error term demand plus uh, beta into oh i'm sorry you have the negative sign here because the negative is associated with with this one here right so so that's there plus beta into error term demand minus uh, gamma into error term demand, right? So this is what we have uh, divided by beta minus gamma. So you can see this and this cancels out. So I have the quantity demanded is actually equal to beta over beta minus gamma, error term supply uh, minus uh, minus ga gamma over beta minus gamma and I have error term demand.
So these are my two reduced form equations. So what are they called? They're called the reduced form equations, right? So in this reduced form equations, what do I have? I have, so what, what, is, the, what is the meaning of reduced form equations? So reduced form equations are the equations which show all the endogenous variables in terms of the exogenous variables and the error terms, right? So basically uh, it shows, I'm going to repeat myself again, it shows all the endogenous variables in terms of exogenous variables, right? So, 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 so you can see that you don't have any quantity here, you don't have any price here, you only have exogenous variables on the right hand side and you only have endogenous variables on the left hand side. Right, so so that's there. So this is basically the reduced uh, reduced form of this equation. Now, one more thing that I want to talk about the system. So so I'm going to move on to the next one here. So one more thing that I want to talk about the system is the complete system of equations. So what do you mean by complete system of equations? A system is said to be complete if the number of equations are equal to the number of endogenous variables. So it's a complete system of equations. Uh, com a system is said to be complete if the number of equations is actually equal to uh, the number of uh, number of endogenous variables. Now what exactly are endogenous variables? Uh, I think I did not make myself clear when I use the term endogenous and exogenous. Well endogenous variables are the variables which actually change uh, within the system which are not predetermined while exogenous variables are the variables which are predetermined and uh, So so they do not change because of the change in the system Right, so so what did we get we got we got the price to be equal to uh, something as uh, one one over uh, so so we got price to be equal to one over gamma minus beta uh, error term demand uh, minus 1 over gamma minus beta error term supply I'm just changing the negative signs here because earlier we got beta minus gamma I'm changing it to gamma minus beta just to you know because I'm gonna follow the same thing in the coming videos so this is gamma over gamma minus beta error term demand uh, minus beta over gamma minus beta error term supply now what I can well, what I can do now here is I'm, I can actually change them uh, I can give them some donation donate uh, you know you know give them some numbers here so what I can say is I can say that the price is actually equal to pi 1 uh, so so what I can say is I can say that this is equal to pi 1 I can do that right uh, so this is equal to pi 1 uh, or pi 1 error term D minus or I can say plus pi 2 uh, error term supply right so what I'm doing here is now I'm actually giving this variable at, uh, uh, you know giving this denoting this variable as, a, as another variable that is exactly what I'm doing here I'm not doing anything anything interesting here right so so what I can do now is I can actually show this equation in a much simpler form that is in this form and I can say that here in this case pi 1 is actually equal to pi 2 which is equal to 1 over gamma minus beta right so so similarly I can also say that the quantity uh, quantity here is actually equal to pi 3 uh, error term demand plus pi 4 uh, basically this is negative right because pi 2 is negative gamma minus beta because uh, because you have a negative term here so pi 1 exactly is not equal to pi 2 so pi 1 here is 1 over gamma minus beta while pi 2 here is negative 1 over gamma minus beta right so so this is what it is and this is pi 3 which is uh, gamma over one uh, gamma minus beta and then you have pi 4 uh, which is equal to minus beta over gamma minus beta so this is just not another thing that is what you can do is you can actually you have the reduced form equations and you can actually show these reduced form equations in a much simpler form right so you can you can remove these you know weird parts out and you can actually put uh, some decent looking variables there 
right? So this is basically the simple model, right? So there are so many problems with the simple model. There would be so many problems when you try to estimate the simple model or when you try to estimate using OLS or when you start try to estimate using two-stage least squares or you try to estimate it using GMM. Well, there are going to be a lot of problems there. Well, in, in fact, this particular set of equations that I just showed you, they, they cannot be solved because there are just many solutions, infinitely many solutions uh, uh, for these set of equations given the given the values of price and quantity which we actually were going to show in the coming video so right now what I wanted to do was I just wanted to set up the uh, you know just wanted to set up the simple model and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that what are the problems with the simple model and uh, how this simple model can be uh, can be modified so that we can actually uniquely estimate the you know we can actually uniquely estimate the value of gamma and the value of beta that we are interested in right so 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 we'll be doing that in the coming videos guys so thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate it thank you very much guys so we'll be coming up with more videos and we're going to be covering up everything that is there related to simultaneous equation models right so i hope this was helpful to you just make sure that you visit our website that is uh, perfect-course.com you can also visit perfectscourse.org right so there is a course there for econometrics you can you can log on to the course and uh, you can uh, you can you can watch the videos in in an organized way uh, just make sure that you give us your valuable like at facebook.com slash perfect scores and also give us your valuable feedback at support at perfectscores.org so this would be about this video guys thank you very much for watching this and i will see you in the next one